person sees all. You want to share the research? Please take a look at the playlist of shorts or the short section of hundreds of research videos, the rarest you'll ever see on any social media platform. I honestly don't know what which is scaring me more. Is it the fact that all this is up on the moon and in the moon's atmosphere, or is it scarier that no one's talking about it? We have a world with over 200 countries, yeah, lots of countries, maybe even some we don't know about, that are involved in scientific research and space research and have space agencies and there's secret projects going on. We only heard about what's going on in the States. Could you imagine all the secrecy and all the money going into secret projects? Don't wonder why they are hiding me. Hi, everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Bruce Schwartz. I study in ufology and in astronomy. And um, yeah, Elon, I did a dust test for you, brother. Uh, much respect, of course, Elon. Uh, yeah. Uh, ever been to the moon? You know, ever land anything on the moon to see if there was any dust there? Uh, as a matter of fact, I really don't understand how they were able to show a moon landing if there's this much dust on the surface. Many miles wide, a UFO takes off and spreads dust for many kilometers across the surface. And the dust is seen under haze and clouds you can see here as this spaceship is plunging into the lunar atmosphere there's another object that looks alive coming to the right of it just over in the footage so the government always puts data away because you know these uh, sightings wind up as data in a black box because they don't reoccur well here you go i showed you one plunging into the atmosphere now i'm showing you a fleet or division of them plunging into the atmosphere. The problem I have is that there are other objects lower in that atmosphere. You can see closer to the surface as they're going by underneath these objects. You can see the right uh, trajectory of the flame or fire coming out of the back of them. As this object goes to the right, you see to the left, west side, the propulsion. One on top, right is going downwards and you can see the propulsion on top pushing it thrusting it downwards make sense yeah and it proves a lot it proves that these objects are literally possibly in the lunar atmosphere because if you tell me it's not on the moon and it's between earth and the moon well we have an even bigger problem thinking that in lower earth orbit there would be these objects flying by i highly doubt it this is real footage with a, a high-powered telescope, a 14-inch Celestron scientific telescope, a good telescope, and a Nikon D850 at the back showing exactly what the government is hiding from you all. What I'm going to show you in this video and in my research is a combination of a very scary set of findings that would uh, um, allow uh, quite easily any professional or researcher, you know, space agency to want to investigate on this. And if not, well, sorry, but I'm calling it, they're hiding something. Has to be something hiding, right? So there's the spaceship. It's a spacecraft and it's descending into smokes and hazes. And you see other objects going by at the same time, which we're going to see a lot of other findings. So I just showed you some in the lunar atmosphere, but a lot of you I remember laughing that day when you said, yeah, well, in the atmosphere and on the surface are two different things. Well, there's one on the surface, one, when I say one, a UFO fleet, here's one coming out of Copernicus, and uh, you want to see them coming out of craters on the moon? Well, first, I'll show you this one coming out of a crater. I got other ones. Uh, it gets shot at. But then you'll say, yes, but that's one event where a UFO looks like it's getting shot at, Bruce. Well, I have more than one event, and as a matter of fact, I have some captures of UFOs themselves shooting at other objects. The size of this object would be one to two and a half miles wide, and I'm including the fire or light and or light around it. Coming out of a crater on Earth's side, not hiding, in clear uh, view of everyone that is and was watching the moon but then you'll say well how come nobody really saw it Th these objects are hard to see 
they're small, they're close to the surface. And aside from that, here's the UFO. I'm not going to forget and hold, uh, I'm going to hold my promise. Here's the UFO shooting. You're going to say, well, what's the UFO shooting at? When you come to your senses and realize, get up off the floor and say, holy shit, he just filmed the UFO shooting. There's objects. Look at them flying around underneath. Lots of them. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you one of those objects further away from the camera that comes close, sir, to the camera, and you'll see its size. Its sheer size is scary. I'll show you a living organism, by the way, of that size and scale. I'll show you several of them at the same time, because now we're looking at everything. We're looking at UFOs under the hazes here, not just being shot, but there's other UFOs shooting other objects, and the objects are on the right, underneath it. You'll see on the right here, as I'll move the arrow over and show you all the black objects right there underneath the spacecraft that are being shot at, literally by a spacecraft. They're underneath the spacecraft. And so now I'm worried about the living organisms in the lunar atmosphere. And you're going to say, what do you mean living organisms? Well, well, look at this. Here's one that's further away, but it's coming up. Hey, give it, give it a second. It's beautiful. It's getting closer. It's going to go up over the hazes. There it is coming out of the atmosphere in hazes. This is on the moon. No filtering, by the way, at, at all. And you could see even a type of gas or reaction, electro uh, magnetic reaction or some type of magnetic or, or field, a magnetic field reaction. I could be wrong, but there's a reaction, right? Here with the green filter, you can just see that it looks like that object is actually moving itself around, propelling itself through the lunar atmosphere. So, hey, listen, all I know is that the living organisms that are alive here can only swim in water or fly in the sky. But this object is pretty big. It's a jellyfish. I call it the lunar jelly. It literally is expanding and contracting. And if I was to compare and talk about facts of our jellyfish here in the oceans, it is the only living organism in the ocean that can live with the least amount of oxygen. They can go deep too. The jellyfish. So there's a lot of different findings and a lot of different objects. So if I show you this object and it's like, what is it, a UFO? Is it, you know... It could be many things. It could maybe even be debris, right? But w upon analyzing them, yeah, they change directions. They stop. They're definitely not debris because debris moves in space. Everything moves at the same speed. As a matter of fact, debris is moving pretty quickly in space. But you can see what looks like a movement of some type of very thick, dense smoke on the ground. This object also about a mile wide. So I'm zoomed in very close with a light filter to be able to see this object, to be able to show you guys this object. So if I was zoomed out, it's a pencil point. Sure, you'll see a little flickering and you'll see the object going by without seeing the actual shape. But here we can get a really good look at the shape. And this is what I try to do in my research. It's a free channel. I'm trying to grow it to literally expose the research that, um, you know, I was able to expose that there's someone several beings up there on the moon and not only beings that are intelligent possibly maybe even intelligent nature you know life you know aside from the vegetation and green patches that i'm showing that could be speculation and or i could be wrong but i'm not wrong when i'm showing objects moving around in the atmosphere and you know when i show you ufos Please lifting up off the surface today, darla pat everyone thanks for gifting up the memberships thanks for the interest Ah, oh, aliens on the moon, when are they gonna tell the world? Come on, Pentagon! Aliens on the moon, aliens on the moon, and they're mining, they're mining the moon. Thank you very much for the support to this channel. Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Aliens up there on the moon. They may be even coming right here soon. Aliens are not in the moon. Yes, they are up there. Doesn't matter because disclosure's coming soon. Disclosure's coming soon.